Art Want produces a MIDI stream or file. It does not produce sound directly. So the first thing you need to do is open the MIDI menu and set the MIDI output to connect with a sound generator. You only need MIDI output. The Microsoft GS Wavetable synth is always available. Load the finished tutorial from the examples folder for an overview. This tiny tutorial is the first part of the Getting Started tutorial set. We start as simple as possible, just three modules, to get you quickly to first sound. Here is an overview of the finished Getting Started tutorials. The top area is the panel for user controls, knobs, sliders, buttons, etc. The lower light blue area is the workspace for the modules that create the patch. The white area is the module tree, which lists the modules in their run order. Modules can be nested within macro modules. Click on the at symbol to enter the macro module and show it in the workspace. Many modules have a properties pop up. Exit macro. Patches can be saved so that only the panel play controls are exposed. The tiny tutorial can be found in the manual introduction page. It is also the first steps of the starting tutorial. Start with the basic clock module. Right click anywhere on the workspace to fetch the module menu. Select the clock submenu. Select the clock module. Left click and drag to move the module. Right click on the top line for its context menu. Every module has instant help. Hold the mouse over labels for balloon pop-up help. Light blue text boxes are module outputs. White text boxes are the module inputs. Right-click on the workspace, create an instance of the randint random integer module. It's in the Patterns menu group. As you move the cursor over the modules, a brief description appears on the bottom notification line. It's always a good idea to check balloon help on an unfamiliar module. In the module upper right corner will be a single character 
It identifies the module uniquely and indicates its processing order. Black means no properties, just a label. Modules are listed here in run order as they are created. Later tutorials will show how to change run order and why you would want to. Here the run order label is blue, meaning this module has a properties pop-up. Randiant can have multiple generators, but only one is needed here. Drag and drop to connect the clock module strobe output to the Randent module strobe input. Strobe is a zero followed by a one or any non-zero value, then back to zero again. The input changes to light yellow indicating the connection and automatically labels the source output. B1 colon clock is clock with run order label B first output. The Randint output now produces random integers in the range of 0 to 24. This is set in the range input. The clock dur duration input controls the note stepping rate. A duration of 24 means 24 system ticks per clock module tick. Thus, the clock rate is set to quarter notes. Artwonk runs module calculation cycle at the MIDI standard of 24 beats per quarter note. The Randent module is now generating random notes in a two octave range, 0 to 24 MIDI steps. So now you need to send them out to MIDI and on to your sound generator. Usually the best module for this is the MIDI voice because it manages common control and housekeeping messages as well as the note pitch. Right click on the workspace. It's in the MIDI out menu group. Note out only sends the note on and note off messages. You need to also set up volume, pan, and other control messages. So go for MIDI voice, which does all of that automatically. MIDI voice looks intimidating, but you only set the input you need. All the rest work fine with the preset defaults. The clock input controls note on off timing. Drag and drop the clock module strobe output to the MIDI voice module clock input. The input changes to light yellow indicating a connection and labels the source output B1 colon clock is clock with run order label B first output. Connect the RAND int output to the MIDI voice note input. As always, drag the output to the input and drop to connect them. The input turns light yellow to indicate a connection and is labeled with the output it is connected to. C1 colon RAND int is Randint module with the run order also called priority at step C, first output. The MIDI note pitch sent is the sum of the note input, the Randint 0 to 24 values, and the transpose value, which defaults to 48. So actual note values will be in the MIDI note range of 48 to 72, which centers around middle C, MIDI note 60. Left click on an output label to see all the inputs it connects to. And left click on an input label to see its output connection. Just click anywhere on the workspace to clear. Set the MIDI voice play input to 1 to enable the module. This allows it to start sending MIDI messages out to the MIDI device. Just highlight with the mouse and type in 1. As soon as the play input goes true, non-zero, MIDI voice goes live and starts sending MIDI 